You know, I think it's time we learned another lesson. Why don't we just jump right into today's Darman video? What's up, shorty? Is it bring your kid to work day? Have you guys seen this? Hottie alert. Ex-boy band superstar turned award-winning actor Jack Boswell surprised long-term girlfriend Victoria Sauls with a marriage proposal. What year is this? I, I'm just curious because I'm I'm just saying. Who in high school right now is still, still purchasing magazines? That's the only thing that took me out of this scene. I'm pretty sure you would just look that up on like, I'm not gonna call it X, that is so stupid. I, you would see that on Twitter or something else and everyone would be hovered around the phone. I don't even remember doing that in high school. Someone would bring a magazine and be like, you guys, check this out, look what page 16 says. It's right here, page 16, everyone. Say goals. <laughs> Oh. I'll take two boxes of Thin Mints. Uh, no, I'm just looking for my locket. I think it's right there. I know where it is. The elementary school? It's about three blocks that way. Bye-bye. I, I just want my locker, please. I, I don't want any trouble. This is a new school. I already got kicked out of my last five schools for beating people up talking about my height. I don't want... I, I'm just trying to get a fresh start. That's all. all right, I'm not trying to bring the pain. I'm just trying to have fun and learn something. Have you seen the new teacher? For like a second, she said she'd be right back. She? Is she cute? She's okay, I guess. Uh, Chase, is she cuter than me? No. <laughs> this again? That's what we call insecure. <laughs> is she cuter than me? I don't know, probably, I guess. What does it matter? You ain't gonna be the best looking person in the world, so you might as well just settle for last, girl. I, what you want? I'm your new calc teacher, Miss Summers. What's with the mask? You must be Crystal Wayne. Yep, you must be familiar with my work. She's our head cheerleader. I'm more familiar with your GPA in this class, which puts you on my may not pass list. Dang, that's crazy. That means she's stupid, everyone. She's stupid. That would be me in the class. I'm like, don't worry, teacher, I got you. You do your thing, teacher. You do your thing. That girl's stupid. Oh my gosh, Gracie, my transfer, right? Please switch places with her. Got it. What is the antiderivative of x to the n? 5x plus c? Sorry, no. Imagine going up there, acting super confident just to, just to look stupid in front of everyone. I'd probably cry, my mascara would be running, and then I'd leave class and the school altogether. I'm like, I guess I'm not coming back. All right, I'll see everyone later. Have a good life. I mean, why wouldn't you do that to people who are clearly bullies? And I, I think I've said this in past videos, well, you know, it's not, how are you gonna just call someone up in the front of class and just embarrass them like that? You know you know what, if you're, if you're being rude enough, yeah, I think you should be made an example of and just, you know, treated like an idiot. I'd be like, gosh, I guess they really do mean what they say when blondes are dumb. Hmm, oh well. X to the N plus one. I'm gonna need you to speak up. Because that was absolutely correct. Can you come to They're the They're related. Tell us how you got this there? collusion. That was correct, Gracie. Can you please show this moron right here to my my side and uh, show her how you did it? Because she clearly doesn't understand. Whoa! Super sorry about that. Nice work in that calc problem, by the way. Thanks, bro. You totally nailed it. Slow your roll, little Miss Training Pants. Find your own date for homecoming. Maybe one of your stuffed animals. She's like five. <laughs> Why is she going to the, the high school homecoming? I'd be like, wait like 10 years or something. You'll, you'll, you'll get there eventually. I hope this Dark Man video doesn't go and show the homecoming and someone asks her. This is this weird. I don't want to deal with it. This, I'm not a Minecraft channel. I, I don't want to see it. Hey there, how was it? Terrible. Something wrong with the way I did your hair? Yeah, everything. I miss the way mom used to do it. Sweetie. Yeah, but mom's dead. Like, I, I, I don't know what you want. <laughs> what do you want from me? All right, when we get the Necronomicon and summon her back, it ain't gonna be her. It's gonna be something evil. I, I, what, what do you want? I'm not Superwoman, Gracie. Can't do it all. Now you put me in a bad mood. I gotta go bully kids on Fortnite because of you. Thanks a lot, Gracie. Skipping me ahead this many grades. I'm like the freak of the school. I'm never going to be able to make friends. Don't say that. It was awful. Can't we just go back to homeschooling? 
Honey, we're way past that. You could be the youngest person ever to graduate from Stanford. Think That's cool, but I don't care. Honestly, like, okay, let's say you do have a smart child, right? I'll say me, because I'm older. Let's say I have a super smart kid, and they're like in sixth grade, but they're ready to be in high school. I'd be like, hey, listen, do you want me to, like, you can go to high school right now, but remember, you're gonna be the youngest one there, all right? So I, I don't know how people are gonna treat you, so it might be a little difficult for you, like socially wise, school wise, you'll probably pass the flying colors, you know? No one's gonna care. How about this? You try it out, see how you like it. If people are being mean to you and whatnot, and you don't think you can handle it, that's perfectly fine, that's okay. We'll just, we'll see about teaching you outside of school and if there's tests that you can do and someone who can teach you these things. Just give it an honest try, that's all I ask. And then that's it, that's how it should go. Oh, you know, you need to be the youngest person. Don't push your dreams on me. I want to go to school with people my own age. I just want to be normal. I want the best for my bright, beautiful girl. You know that. Swear to the wise. Gracie's here. Not your biggest concern. Yikes! Great, fine. Understood. Really? Is it? I just want to let everyone know this idiot back here got an F. So if you hear her making sarcastic comments to you, please ignore them. She's dumb. And she doesn't know any better. I think everyone should be nice to her. She's she's a little slow. If you catch my drift, you know? Just take it easy on her. Be nice to her, guys. Crystal. Hi, Mom. What's up? That's what I would like to know. Spoke with Coach. You are this close to being put on academic probation. The new calculus teacher really has it in for me. But I'll get my grades up so I can stay on the squad. Girl, it ain't cal- you somehow failing lunch. How do you do that? How do you fail lunch? I had good grades in school. I mean, my math grade, you know? I'm sure the teacher just felt bad for me and let me, you know, pass. But, but other than that, I, I think I was doing A-OK. -okay. From now on, your laptop is for schoolwork only, restricted phone, no social media, no hanging out with friends, and no more cheerleading until you get your grades up. You're totally overreacting. I don't think so, but if you care to also lose your driving privileges, I'll take the keys to your Porsche and you can take the bus. No, you don't need to do that. I guess we'll see. Are you like a surgeon? <laughs> is, is the mom a surgeon? Like what's this girl driving a Porsche for? Unless nursing, <laughs> I should have been a nurse, sweet Lord. After school tomorrow, instead of cheer, you'll go to the library. I got you a tutor. I don't want to see you give up on your dreams. Someday you'll thank me. There was a time when I wanted to be a doctor, but dreams change, Mom. Mine did. We are not doing this with the makeup stuff again. Cause you know, God knows YouTube can use another makeup guru. <laughs> who am I to who am I to talk? Do you know how many React channels there are? Shut up. You'll need to tell me. I know. Anyway, let me guess what the themes of this video are gonna be. Don't push your dreams onto your kids. Let them make their own dreams and their own paths. That's the only theme I can think of. I don't know about Gracie. She's smart. Who cares? The teacher. You're never too young to to do something. I don't know. Anyway, just see, I'm seeing a lot of dreams be pushed onto the kids. All right, teens. Let's do this. That is a really small room to play dodgeball in. Ooh. Oops. No way, this can't be happening. Uh, hi, Crystal. Should we get started? Here? In public? Uh, is there some place I should rather do this? <gasps> For sure, but since it takes- You guys! You guys, you're never gonna believe- You know that stupid girl Crystal in Calculus? <laughs> She's getting tutored by the smart kid in calculus. You guys, isn't that funny? Isn't that hilarious? Why didn't you laugh? Why'd you hang up? Is that Roroni Kenshin? Is that, a, is that a manga I see in the school library? Ain't no way. <laughs> Sorry, you know, just losing track. <laughs> well, what do you think if we spend some of your hard-earned tutoring money, huh? Just kidding, baby. Whatever you want, it's on me, okay? Well, this is a big waste of time and money. I mean, what high school boy is really gonna ask me to homecoming? True, and why is she going to homecoming? I'm sorry, just because you're in high school doesn't mean like, does she really need to be going to homecoming? I mean, come on. 
Let's be honest here. She's smart. I don't think she really like, she really cared to go to homecoming. Please video gods, don't, don't, she doesn't need to go to homecoming. Uh, not I hope. And if there's yeah, one, you tell me, the principal and the police, okay? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Why can't you just come with me? I would love to, but you know that I work that day. I can't. Look, baby. Also, there's an age I know limit this whole thing is at homecoming. I don't think, like, you know, someone older can go to homecoming with someone who's going to homecoming. Anyway. I can't get away from her. It's like she's stalking me. Be nice. You she's your teacher. Her. And plus, she might be the one who gets your pom poms back. Her dad buys her clothes? <laughs> that explains a lot. She's seven, bro. Like, what do you, what do you what want I mean, from her? This I, eyeshadow I and foundation with your skin tone is the like perfect color combo. 11 or 12. Uh, I don't know, Crystal. It's a little out there. Pardon me? I just want to say how much I adore your makeup. Thank you. Uh, we're hiring part time, so if you are looking for anything. Oh, her mom doesn't let her work. Seriously? She looks like every other. You know, if it was some crazy out of this world makeup, I'd be like, whoa, that's crazy. We should hire you. Did you do that makeup yourself? Looks like a professional did it. Call me. Call me. Target's hiring. Still gonna question me? Never again. A pink swear. <laughs> <laughs> I got it too. I'm gonna make that little brat pay for this if it's the last thing I ever do. Gracie didn't post this. Yeah, it was that burnout Quincy. I don't care. She's a freak. I look like crap, and she's gonna regret the day she ever set foot into Bookside High. You can't say crap at Bookside High. I don't know how many times we have to tell you. It's so weird hearing the word crap come out of their mouth. It's like, it's like hearing crap when they said it in the regular show. And you're like, oh, on Cartoon Network? For free? So you're telling me the one dumb kid, the other dumb kid who was in the library, probably looking for manga, recorded the other dumb girl getting tutored. Also, this is this is what I mean by high school kids care too much. All right, like who who cares if she's getting tutored by a 10 year old? First of all, that 10 year old's probably the smartest kid in the entire school and she could probably tutor everyone. So that's not an insult. She's literally just super smart. And probably, like I said, probably the smartest person in that school. Two, yeah, she's failing calculus. Calculus is kind of hard. Math's not for everyone. All right, I, you're failing math, that's A-OK. -okay. You know, I, not everyone's good at math and that's perfectly fine. So if you need, if you need tutoring in math, go for it. You know, so I don't see what the big deal about her getting tutored by someone younger than her is. I, who cares? You know, do your thing, get your grade up, live your life. You guys are so mean. Oh, please. Not cool, Chris. What's wrong with you? Lighten up. What is it? Sorry, honey. Were you asleep already? I don't know, Dad. Do these tears look like I was sleeping? I don't know how you got into Stanford. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, you shouldn't care. Okay, someone pulled a prank on you. Oh, well. The best thing you can do instead of reacting to said prank You'd be like, wow, that was really not funny. Oh, well, you know, you just take it down, clean it out, and then toss it to the side. Be like, thank God I'm not cleaning that up. And then you get your stuff and leave. If someone's bullying you or trying to play a prank on you, what they're looking for is a reaction. The best thing you can do is not give them the reaction. Cause then that makes them even more mad when someone's trying to, to gaslight you. Don't give them the satisfaction that literally Pisses them off. I get you an interview with this Stanford next week. Bro, she okay. just started high school. That's great, Dad. Thanks. What are you crying, honey? Mm, no. <clears throat> I'm just tired, that's all. You don't? There's a reason you don't rush kids to grow up, because when you force kids to grow up, they just, you know, sometimes they have childish taste, you know? They they just spend their money on stupid stuff like anime figures. Couldn't be me though. Anyway. Grace got an F? That's bizarre. Mind your business, please. And keep up the good work. Has anyone seen Gracie today? Uh, I have. Right before class. I saw her in the bathroom by the library. Gracie, it's the what's Gracie, wrong? is that you crying in there? Everything. Are you the crybaby right now? Can you be a little more specific? 
being the stupid genius. I never wanted it to be like this. My dad is so obsessed with me being the youngest to graduate Stanford. And he had me skip ahead all the way to 12th grade. Oh, you, you weren't, you're not even a freshman. You skipped you straight to being a senior? You didn't even get to enjoy high school. That kind of sucks. Your dad's a bad person, bad man. I'm not even that smart. What do you mean? I think on our last test, I totally flunked it. I should probably just go back to middle school. You mean this test, right? Gracie, I forgot to put a one next to the two zeros. You actually got a hundred. Sorry. <laughs> Oh man, see, this is where Darman could have just pulled something out of left field. Gracie's the teacher, she time traveled. I would that would have blown my mind. Introducing time travel? That's the next that's the next Darman cinematic universe phase is introducing time travel. Then you got like the then you got like the infinity stones and the TV. You got a whole bunch of stuff you can introduce. You got every answer wrong. I thought that was strange. But when I looked at it more closely, I noticed something even stranger. On every problem, you did all of the work correctly. And then you just wrote something completely different as the answers. It's almost as if you wanted to get a zero. I told you she forgot the one! Get she forgot the one! For doing all your work correct. Kind of ironic, huh? Can you please come back to class? Gracie, can you please come back to class and stop being a crybaby? You know, I, I really got like, I, I shouldn't even be gone for this long. This is, I, I, I might get in trouble for this actually. We got, we got a skedaddle, girl. I know there's been some curiosity about why I'm wearing a mask. Today I'm gonna answer that. I've heard a few rather wild theories. One of them being that my face was scarred from an acid throwing attack. I was just joking. I'd be like, Teacher, I don't really care. I just figured you you didn't want to either get sick or you didn't want to get everyone else sick. I don't really care. Don't take off the mask. But today, class, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how I got these scars. <laughs> My father. <laughs> but I mean, something must be wrong with your face if you you can all see for yourself. I'm just extremely, really, really, really like good looking. It can't be. There's just no way you're... Victoria Solace? Who? Oh. I did it because I didn't want you guys treating me differently just because I'm married to a celebrity. I even used the made-up name. Wait, so, Miss Summers, I mean... <laughs> what? Okay, I guess. We we doing teaching high school. Did I miss that in the first part when they... Why does she have that magazine still? It's been days. Let me give you a refresher. You see, Crystal and I were in second grade together. I was the weirdo, the IQ freak. And Crystal and her friends wouldn't stop teasing me. So you see, I didn't want to spend my time with kids like that. That's why I spent my time on my talent and studied hard. So they're like the same, what? What, what is this? <laughs> I'm so confused on the time. That was the shortest so you see ever. So you see, Crystal back at the back end of the class, she made fun of me. And because she made fun of me, I got to live such a good life. So honestly, I should thank you, Crystal, for making fun of me. You're welcome. That, what? I embraced my talents. I enrolled in Princeton. I met another genius, a musical genius named Jack Boswell. And now he's my fiance. So you really do understand. That's right. And if it's okay, i like to give you the kind of support that I eventually got. Uh, so, if you're like this next level brainiac, why are you a teacher? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'd be like, ain't out the goodness of my heart. It ain't for sure the paycheck. That's for sure. Why do you think she married rich? That's a fair question. Some people aren't motivated by money. Mm. I guess I'm just one of those people. Mm, okay. My father wanted me to be a rocket scientist at like NASA. But the most important thing I've ever learned is that if you spend your life trying to live someone else's dream, you'll never be happy. Money didn't motivate me, so I, I married rich. <laughs> just, just as a backup plan, you, just, just in case, just in case things didn't work out, you know? I gotta secure my bag somewhere. But I, I'm not motivated by money though. Not motivated by money. 
Mom, what are you doing here? Talking to your principal about your options, the pre-med programs I've looked into. I'm not gonna be a doctor. Nonsense. You can and you will be. I've been telling you for years that I don't want this and you never listen to me. So I'm the bad guy because I don't want you wasting your life trying to have a career in makeup? It's not wasting my life if I'm following my dreams. I'm done living your dream. It's time that I live my own or at least try to. Okay, here, this, you can do this a few ways. Be like, okay, do your makeup thing, but please do the pre-med stuff as well. Like you can do your makeup thing, do some school for medical stuff, you know, just in case, just in case the makeup thing doesn't, you know, work out. I want you to have a secure future. Oh, but then you're not truly believing in me. No, oh, you know what? Then to that argument, all right, I fully believe you. This is what's gonna, this is what's gonna, you're gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you do your makeup thing, right? I will give you until you are 21 years of age to do your makeup thing. If nothing comes out of it, I'm gonna go ahead and just kick you out of the house. That sounds like a fair deal to me. I give you years to accomplish your dream and if you don't do it, you don't get to live off my dime anymore. Because I told you to have a backup plan or just have something, you know, just secure in the way. And if your makeup thing is making you money, I'll also charge you rent because that's fair too. Is that, is that too harsh? I don't think so. But I'm really proud of you. Thanks for, you know, helping me see what's important. I've spoken to your mom. She's quite a tough lady. Tell me about it. I have my own talent. Hair, makeup, styling. Your personal hairstylist? I'd like that. You look so pretty. Thanks. Gracie, come here. What is this jank homecoming? Whose garage is this in? Bro, when I when we had homecomings or dance like prom and stuff, they were at like big old places. What is this place? Great job, Chris. No need to lay it on thick. I'll dance with you. <laughs> May I have this dance, senorita? <laughs> what are you doing? Cutting a rug with my absolutely gorgeous daughter. <laughs> Cutting a what? <laughs> Never mind. This is extremely silly. Never mind. This is extremely skibbity, Dad. <laughs> She goes to homecoming with her dad. Oh god, that's even lamer. She just ended it. So what was the theme? I guess I predicted it after all. Let everyone follow their own dreams, you know? All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments section down below what you thought the theme was, or maybe you, you were you were thinking the same thing too. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are absolutely amazing. Make sure to hit that like button and to subscribe and turn on that little bell for notifications so you know when I go live or I post a new video. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.